So here's what our algorithm would look and code in Java. So this is our method prototype that was specified to us. And then here I'm doing some initializations. I have my negative flag. I set it to false at the beginning. And this is my buffer in which I'll be storing the string. And then at the beginning, like we said, we determine if the number is negative. And if it is so, then what I'm going to do is I will set the negative flag to true. And I will multiply my number by minus one so I only process positive numbers. And then we go over the while loop here. What I'm doing here is I'm appending to the buffer characters, which are equivalents of the digits in the number. So here I'm taking the number modulo 10, getting that digit at the far right. So if it was 235, modulo 10 will give me that 5. And then I'm adding the character 0 to it. And this, in fact, gives me, gives me the character 5. And then I'm converting into a character, making sure that I specify that to the compiler. And then I append it to the buffer. Then I take my same number, 235, divided by 10, get rid of this 5. So this is integer division. And then I'm left with 23. And since 23 is not equal to 0, I keep on doing this process over and over again. And in the end, I'll have all the digits in their character representations in the buffer. Now the reason why I use a do while loop instead of a while loop is because if the number was 0 to start with, so if you were pressed to 0, and if I only used a while number is, so number not equal to 0, then it will never go through this loop, and I won't get a 0 equivalent of it. So that's this do while loop ensures that I go through it at least once. So if I had a 0 as an input, it will still work. Um, right here, I'm checking that after I've done this process, I all, stored all my characters in the buffer. Now is the time to check if it was a negative number. If it's a negative number, all I have to do is append a, a negative sign. And then at the very end, I reverse my buffer, convert it to a string, and then return it as the result.